The YSL trial is back in session and Judge Paige Reese Whitaker is the boss. She started off letting everybody know, look, guys, this is my court. We're not going to be eating up in here. Um, a couple of things have been brought to my attention that some people might like changed. Food in court. Everybody can have water whenever they want to. Snacking while trial's going on, we're not going to be doing that, okay? So if we are working through lunch, if we are working late and it's dinner time, it will be okay to the attorneys or the defendants have food. Not while somebody's on the stand testifying, okay? It's not, we're not at a movie. We're not going to be eating popcorn. All right. Hopefully that'll be all I have to say about that. But Judge Whitaker was just getting started. Apparently, somebody must have complained about the amount of clothing that the defendants have because Judge Whitaker wanted to make sure, look, you guys have five outfits. That's enough to last you a week. You don't need no more than that. Um, apparently, one of the first things that I don't know how many different deputies told me was the um, clothing for the clients has gotten a little out of hand in terms of how much they all have now that so yeah i don't know but um y'all need to maybe get together and let's exchange most of that and sure they can have new outfits for court but it sounds like they're like full wardrobes full of clothing for some of these defendants. And that's just a lot for the deputies to have to keep up with. So how about if y'all check in and maybe through Miss Rosser, y'all all know Miss Rosser, I think she's not even here today. Yeah, she is over there. Miss Rosser, my fabulous litigation manager. Um, and let's make sure that it gets whittled down to a manageable amount of clothing, you know, like, there are only going to be five days in each week. <laughs> so even if they had a different outfit every day, that would only be five outfits. Okay. We shouldn't have 20 different outfits for anybody. So y'all need to clear out apparently the closet. So now I've done that for the deputies. They'll be more happy. If you've been watching this trial, you know that sometimes the trial is interrupted by a cell phone or an argument or whatever. And judge Whitaker wanted people to know, look, not in my courtroom, you don't. No more disruptions. Minimizing disruptions in court. I don't exactly know what that means yet, but let's try to conduct court in a way that minimizes disruptions. And um, we'll just leave it at that for now. Um, Next on her list, Judge Whitaker wanted to address the defendants who are using ear pods during the trial. Looks like Thug and them maybe were listening to some music or something, but Judge Whitaker's like, uh-uh, that's the end of that. There was um, an issue about apparently, and I'm not even sure if I understand exactly what has gone on with this, but the um, defendants listening through ear pods to things on laptops while court is going on. Um, and I'm not sure I understand why that's happening. And that raises some security issues with our security staff, with the sheriff's office. So can somebody kind of explain to me what that's about and why that's necessary? And if nobody wants to, then we'll just do away with it. All right. Well, we won't be bored from here on out. So then if that's the only reason for it, um, I want to be moving forward uh, efficiently and expeditiously. So let's just plan to not have that happen anymore. And if there arises some new reason for it, then we can address it again anew. Okay. And finally, it's interesting to note that this case apparently has taken on a reputation of having people act very uncivilized to each other, rude to each other, mean to each other. You know, we've done uh, straight disrespect part one, part two, straight disrespect part three is coming tomorrow or sometime over the weekend. So it looks like the this whole trial has taken on this reputation of essentially people being mean to each other or being rude to each other in the courtroom. And so now the new judge, 
Judge Whitaker is going to address that and ask everybody to act in a civilized manner. The little bit I have seen about this case, it definitely has appeared that there have been times that tempers have flared a whole lot and that people have been maybe less than professional. Um, and I hope that this kind of breather has given everybody a breather and everybody has been absolutely wonderful here today. But I would like for us to maintain a degree of decorum and dignity and professionalism. That is what is really expected of all of us as members of the bar. Um, I don't want to have to say anything beyond that. Okay. But if, if, if it gets to a point where I think that is not being carried out appropriately, we're going to all have to talk. Okay. All right. So you can see there, Judge Whitaker is coming into this trial, putting her foot down and letting everybody know who's boss right off the top. It is interesting. You should go back and watch this entire hearing because she does have an interesting style. She does a lot of laughing. She does a lot of kind of giggling, laughing. And I don't know if that's because she's just getting started with this and she's trying to disarm people and seem, you know, kind of nice and, and not seem so so mean or, or or so strict or to have an edge about her. But she did a fair amount of giggling, laughing, kind of, uh, I guess, disarming behavior for people during the hearing. A lot of people in the comments were noting that Miss Love, who everybody takes to be like one of the worst people. Miss Love was respectful. Everybody was respectful. Everybody seemed to give deference to Judge Whitaker and nobody seemed to have an edge about them as as you've seen so many times when Glanville is the judge. So it still remains to be seen if Judge Whitaker is going to be able to control this trial, if she's going to be able to control the personalities, control the state. Brian still got up and he you know how Brian is. He he wants to get every dig he can get in. Or, or on the prosecution, he wants to get it in. And he has this motion that he filed this morning to disqualify Love and Hilton. That's floating out there in the air. Um, but Brian Steele, he, even though he did get up and do his Brian Steele thing where, you know, he's a hard charger as well. But it looks like everybody's giving a little bit of deference for the time being to Judge Whitaker. And for her, to her credit, she came in and she said, look, this is the way my court's going to run. This is the way I want things to be done. These are the things I want. These are things I don't want. So even though there wasn't anything substantive done today, Judge Whitaker was able to show a little bit of her personality and start to take control of the courtroom, which is really what is needed at this time. So we're going to be back here every day covering the trial. Thank you all for watching. Please give the thumbs up. 